series I'd like to start up, and I would like to ask for you guys' opinion on it. So if you guys think this is a good idea or a bad idea, leave your message in the comments section, and I will see what I can do with it. With that being said, I'd like to start off this series with, you guessed it, Twilight. Yeah, I know we all, well, most of us hate Twilight. Fans love this godforsaken series. But, snooping around the internet, being the nosy idiot I am, I found this one particular article, and I have to say, it's just, it's so baffling what fans would do just to get attention, I swear to God. So, this is the article, it's, it's called, Cops Bitten Twilight Fan, A Bloody Liar. Huh. You have my attention. Okay, now before I read this article, this, this, this whole entire situation revolves around a woman named Erin Westrit, who claims that a 30 to 40 year old man bit her on the neck while watching the movie screening of New Moon. And, so, and I'm thinking something about this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and I, and like, why? Why would you even do that in the first place? So this article reads, Cops tell TMZ the 17-year-old girl who claimed a rabid Twilight fan bit her on the neck while she was leaving a screening of the movie was lying through her teeth. Uh-oh. And now the false claim could end up biting, in, biting her in the ass. Oh, that's funny. Okay, like I said before, this Aaron Westrit woman initially told cops a male in his 40s bit her on the neck at a movie theater in Norton Shores, Michigan, after she saw New Moon on Friday night. Cops say they grilled Westrip after a witness told cops they watched her leave the theater and didn't see any biting. <laughs> see, this is what happens in movie theaters when something bad happens? There are witnesses, you moron! Alright, let's see. We are told Westrit then came clean, telling cops the alleged culprit was simply kissing her on the neck at the time, and she was a willing participant. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Stop. Just stop. I'm sorry. Um, um <laughs> okay. There are, um, a few things are wrong with this. I'm gonna point them out right now. One, um, why would you even lie? That just causes more trouble for you. Second off, you actually went through all that trouble into trying to get this 40-year-old male arrested for allegedly biting you on the neck, but you let him kiss you. Third of all, you are a failed attention whore. Wow. If this was on fail blogs, I wouldn't be surprised. Because this is one huge attention whore fail. God damn. Oh my god. Holy shit, man. Um, Alright, let's continue. Detective Lieutenant Timothy Lavinge. Oh wow, that's an awesome name. That's a kick-ass name. I want that name. Oh, sorry. Continuing. Of Norton Shores Police Department tells us Westrick could now face criminal charges for filing a false police report over the incident. You know what? That's what she gets. You know what? That is exactly what she gets. I hope she does get criminal charges. Jesus Christ. This is over a fucking book series, damn it. Why would you even go this far just to get attention? Oh my god, this was posted November 25th, 2009. Wow, that's really recent. Just, just, wow. Just baffles the mind, man. Not, not only is this chick an idiot, she's a very, very, very bad at lying. I mean, first of all, you're at a movie theater, which people go to, and if there were people at the theater, there would be witnesses, and... If the witnesses saw the incident, they would say something. 
but nobody said anything. Just her and her blissful mind, and she lies to police. Oh, yeah, that makes so much sense. What? <laughs> you, you, where do you? Where does this thought process come from to think you could get away with this? God damn, you're an idiot. Oh wow. Oh, this is what this is what happens, people. You you lie and then you get in trouble. Good idea. All right, this was the first edition of Article Facepalm. I hope you guys thought it was a good idea. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.